there's this huge shifting paradigm from very volume driven and very low efficiency to very low volume, high efficiency in this new modern world. Be besides that, each channel has their own intricacy. Um, if you go on Amazon, the paradigms of the Amazon are ranking, reviews, and other things that allow you to sell more or less. So when doing a forecasting for Amazon, it's a lot different than doing a forecasting for Shopify, for example, where the paradigm is more uh, if you're able to drive traffic to your website, there's no customer there for you already like you have on, on Amazon. There's no ranking and et cetera. So paradigms are different. Wholesale, even more different because wholesale, you're receiving a purchase order from your retailer and you have to fulfill the purchase order. So it's zero, zero, zero. Suddenly you receive 2,000 units, but then zero, 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 3,000 units. And the old tools, they are just not able to deal with those different intricacies. It's a whole new business, the whole new world of modern commerce. So that's why we say that we're building the inventory planning for the, the intricacies and, and spe specifically designed for modern commerce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just let's dive into it. So Fliba is a solution addressing these challenges and providing a competitive advantage by taking all these moving parts into consideration. Talk me through it. How does it work? Yeah, so we connect to different sources of data. Uh, so you can have Amazon, for example, we connect to your sales inventory from uh, sales from Amazon inventory from FBA. Uh, you have uh, Shopify, we connect to uh, sales and inventory if you're using that. I mean, now it's delivery, so now it's outside of Shopify, it's with Flexport. But at the time the Shopify had delivery in it, it would get the delivery information from Shopify, now we get it from Flexport. Uh, we connect to any, any source pretty much uh, of data. Uh, and even if we don't have a, a native connection, we have manual ways to connect to that with the Google Sheets, uh, um, using Google Sheets as a middleware. Uh, 